Well, we used to try back-to-back -back retrieval. In other words, you'd retrieve the eggs and then right away do another cycle. And uh, we studied that 20 years ago, 25 years ago, very enthusiastically. Uh, and it would have been great because what we're worried about is a woman's eggs getting older in her 40s and you want to get them as soon as you can. So we'd love to be able to do back-to-back -back, uh, every month uh, a cycle. But we found that the results aren't as good as if you give that over a, a month anyway to rest, sometimes two months to rest. So that rest is just a generic term I'm using for the lay audience. But what's really happening, you have to understand, we, we learned this from studying how the ovary works by actually making eggs from stem cells derived from skin biopsy. Now, we actually are studying that and doing that in humans who've run out of eggs or premature ovarian failure, and we've gotten halfway to what we call PGCs. But in the mouse, it's really been very, very well perfected. And we've learned from that animal model that there's a period of differentiation of the egg that the granulosa cells help do in, uh, in, in that period of time in the human it is probably close to three months. And I call that IVD. The next period is IVG, gonadotropins. And that's when the FSH and LH, uh, in a very unique way, uh, stimulate that egg uh, to uh, uh, be meiotically competent, competent for dividing and reducing the number of chromosomes. And then it's only a day or two uh, for the actual meiosis to occur under the influence of, say, HCG or LH. And uh, so, but it, your eggs inside your ovary are, are always subject to FSH and LH. I mean, they're constantly subject to it. Uh, it's, not, it's, it's not as though this egg that you're retrieving now after 10 days of stimulation hasn't already uh, undergone uh, intrinsic endogenous stimulation. So uh, technically, all you really need to do is get those eggs that are in those growing follicles that have gone for four months without stimulation and expose them to LH or HCG, and, and you'll get good quality and mature eggs. And that's what IVM is all about. Now, uh, the way we apply that practically in IVF today, though, is we just want to suppress all that uh, for a period of time so that we have a pure cohort of eggs, not just a bunch of eggs that are already undergoing atresia. Because realize, even if you have a normal ovarian reserve, 30 eggs are recruited every day from the resting reserve, and 30 eggs die every day, a 1,000 a month. And uh, that's a very dynamic process going on in that ovary. And so what we want to do is get you to baseline. So we stimulate you for IVF. All we get are the, uh, a cohort of fresh eggs.